In this quick video, I'm upgrading the memory of the 2022 Razer Blade 17 on which I posted the video review recently. First off, why upgrade the memory? The laptop comes with just 16GB of DDR5 memory. This is a bit limiting when exporting photos and editing videos. One other thing that is often overlooked is that the two 8GB sticks are one rank by 16 half rank modules that are a little bit slower. To open the laptop, we need to undo 10 T5 Torx screws. I try to use a T5 bit from my cheap Torx bit set, but uh, the bit rounded out itself after loosening 8 screws. I had to buy a Vessel T5 screwdriver that is made in Japan for this upgrade. Once the screws are undone, the bottom cover slides off easily as we push it towards the front of the chassis. The part underneath the exhaust vent, where no screw is present, is secured to the body by tabs. Inside, we can see the large vapor chamber, RAM slots, Wi-Fi card, and the two M.2 slots, one of which is occupied by the Samsung PM9A1. Uh, we can also see on the bottom cover that heat conducting tapes have been provisioned for both slots. The three cooling fans as well as the battery are also in plain sight. Even though the 12th gen i7-12800H CPU only supports the base 4800MHz DDR5 memory, I'm installing Crucial's 5600MHz 32GB kit because it was on sale for less than the 4800MHz kit. Of course, I disconnected the battery before proceeding. In IDA64, we can see that the write and copy speed as well as the latency have improved over the original 16GB kit. Since IDA64 was also complaining about uh, the hypervisor, I also disabled Windows Virtual Machine Platform and ran it again. No improvement in memory speed, but uh, the L1 cache speed dramatically increased. Unfortunately, Windows Subsystem for Linux requires this feature to run. Well, I hope this is an interesting look inside uh, the Razer Blade 17 that serves as a bonus content to the long-term user review that uh, I posted a few days earlier.